Okay, I promise. This is the last video I'm gonna make on Liam. Uh, yeah. Maybe, I think. <laughs> I don't know. I've got a new Andras team. My previous team was using Falcon in this spot and Alice instead of this guy. But how this team works is that Tabra will be on the leader spot because I need Abigail to target her S3 onto Tabra. And then Ashley, as you can see, the Ashley weird, uh, build is a bit weird. 90% crit rate. So with Andras, you don't really want to crit, but with this strategy, um, Ashley is just here for the uh, wave clearing more so than to do any damage to the boss. I can get a faster run if I give my Ashley slightly higher attack, which I'll show you in a bit in the second wave. My Febreze is on the Harmony set shield, and then my Abigail is on the Ocean set and Light set. And lastly, my Liam is on the Ocean set um, Aegis. So turn ordering is going to be this guy, Febreze, Abigail, and then Tabor. And then she will move, and then he will move. So the first turn is uh, the first wave is always going to be the same. Fabrice will use the S3, and then Abigail will AP push my Tever. Tever will kill off this guy, and then my Ashley will kill off the rest. This is why you want to crit. If you can get like a zero crit Ashley and still kill the first wave, then you can do that. But my one cannot. Okay, but uh, unlucky, I crit on this wave. Uh, this wave is very stupid because. They have damage reduction when you crit, but they don't have the effect of the, the boss where if you have a 50% or lower crit rate, then you cannot crit. So yeah, it's very stupid how this wave doesn't have that passive, but they do take reduce uh, crit damage. So if you have an R2 Tever, this strategy is going to be slower for you. On the boss wave, everything is going to be funneled onto Tever. I didn't use my, uh, I didn't use Astro Tever because um, you, if you want the the run to be fast, then you want to have the relief set on Tever. And the reason why I have um, Ocean set on my Liam is even though I have the S3 maxed out, right? Is because sometimes he uses his S3 on the second wave. So I want him to get the S3 um, on the third wave as soon as possible. So this one with bad RNG, we crit on the second wave which happens only 10% of the time because uh, I cannot remove that 10% crit rate from Tever. We still, I think, managed to clear it within 40 something turns. If I don't crit on the second wave, it's about 30 turns. Sometimes you can go to like 26 turns. I think my fastest with this team uh, for now is 26 turns. Yeah, 41 turns, very good. Um, even with the crit on the second wave. If you have a Raven, uh, Raven is going to be way better than Ashley because Raven on the first wave, she doesn't even need to take a turn to clear the wave. As soon as you um, do damage with Tever, she uh, Raven will just clear the wave with her pursuit. And then on the second wave, uh, Raven still has the S3 up, which can kill off everyone except for the main guy. And then Tever can finish off the main guy. It's uh, pretty safe so far. It hasn't failed. And yeah, it's very fast. 20 something turns. This 26, I think the fastest I got. And that's when I crit on the second wave, which is very unlucky. It's 10%. Our first loss with 74 uh, four turns. But we crit three times in a row. Let me check my Tever again. Okay, my Tever has 15% crit rate. Yeah, I don't think I can do anything about that 5%. It's on this rune, which is also very good with like 22% um, attack and defense. You kind of want some defense and HP on your Tever so that he can survive. But I'll do one more 10 blitz. The previous run wasn't too good. I think 27 turn was, uh, was the fastest just now. Yeah, if I don't crit on the second wave, then it's between 27 to 29 turns. Okay, this time around we got 33 turns average and not too good of a run because we did crit. As you can see, one, I think this 36 is uh, also a crit. So one, two, three, we crit on three no four occasions on the second wave which is very unlucky all right last 10 blitz and then i'll show you the fastest run again we crit again <laughs> okay okay what the heck okay that's cool oh what is going on tever huh huh okay nice tever decides to crit one two three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight times with a 15% crit rate. That's awesome. I cannot end it on a loss like that. So I'm gonna go again. Um, yeah, so far the fastest is around 26 turns. Oh, 
25 turns, okay. And the success rate is very high. So far, only one loss. 33.1 turns average. I'll show you the 25 turns run. So the right RNG, the, the first wave is always going to be the same. Because they don't have the crit rate, uh, crit damage reduction. So even if my Tever crits, it doesn't matter. He, he does about, about the same damage. Yeah, this is where the uh, RNG comes when I want to clear it faster is when Ashley crits on the side guys. So because the side guys have uh, type advantage uh, against Ashley, that's why Raven is better than Ashley in this case because she is uh, Shimmer and she will not miss on the two side guys. So if you do have a Raven, then you can try it out. Right here, Ashley always dies, but it doesn't matter because she already did her job, which is uh, clearing the first two waves and then also providing the Rainbow Seed buff on the boss phase so that whenever you get critted on you get AP push and your Abigail can get a turn and put up a shield so your Tever doesn't die. Tever doing a million damage within like 25 turns. 33.1 lands us at somewhere around rank 13. Not bad. This is the runes. You want relief set on Tever and just stack attack attack and attack on him. If you don't have a brawler set, you can put on a any set on him, works. It's just like brawler set helps him kill the boss faster. If you don't have a good brawler set, then you can uh, remove it and put anything else. Counter set also works. Ashley, it doesn't matter what set you run on her. Either uh, thunder set or wind set or war set, whatever it is, you want her to have 100% crit rate and a good amount of damage so that she can one shot the first to, uh, wave and then do significant damage on the second wave. Fabrice is on Harmony set, HP, HP and Aegis because I need the Aegis buff to uh, survive with Tever. And then Abigail, if you don't want to run Light set, you can also run Aegis set on her. Um, Ocean set or even this set can also work, Harmony set or even Windwalker can also work. Any set works on her, really. Liam with the Ocean set instead of the wind set this time around because sometimes he does his S3 on the second wave and you want him to have the S3 up as soon as possible when you enter the boss phase so and I have him on the Aegis set again to stack up on the shield so that my Tiber can survive. The positioning matters a lot you don't want to do this if you do this the average turn is going to be around 40 to 50 turns but if you do this then it's going to be around 30 turns but yeah